Mesopotamia means the land between rivers. Ancient Mesopotamia is credited with the early beginnings of agriculture. Iowa, also a land between rivers, is a modern day Mesopotamia. With 85% of the state used for farmland, Iowa is first in the nation in corn production and leads in the production of many other agricultural commodities. My first job was walking beans for a local farmer, Willard Hostetler. With the advent of genetically modified Roundup Ready beans in 1995, walking beans became unnecessary. With GMOs, yields exploded and another age of agriculture was ushered in. Proud Iowa farmers like to say, we feed the world. But right here in Iowa, people are hungry. Imagine, you're six. It's Sunday night. You've eaten only cold cereal since Friday's school lunch. You crawl into bed with the ache of hunger and the hope you will get a warm breakfast at school tomorrow morning. You dread foodless weekends away from school and long, hungry summers. Hunger is a direct result of poverty. In the United States, poverty is caused by low-paying jobs with no health insurance, stagnant wages, and a federal tax code which benefits business and the wealthy at the detriment of low-wage earners. A poverty level for a family of four is just $22,000. 12% of Americans live in poverty. 28% of our children live with parents who lack secure employment. With stress and a lack of stability at home, children living in poverty struggle to learn and more than 60% test below proficiency for reading and math. This is how poverty repeats itself from one generation to the next, to the next, to the next. Kids who don't get enough to eat, especially during their first three years, begin life at a serious disadvantage. Hunger impacts a child's ability to develop and grow, ward off illness, and learn and socialize at school. Childhood hunger leaves lifelong effects of unhealthy eating patterns and mental health issues. One in seven children are food insecure. Meanwhile, one in six seniors faces the threat of hunger. Having worked hard and now living on fixed incomes, they're often forced to choose between food and health care. Lack of proper nutrition in old age leads to high blood pressure, elevated cholesterol, osteoporosis, strokes, falls, and depression. Don't our parents and grandparents deserve better? Rural families struggle with food insecurity due to a lack of access to transportation, health and human services, and affordable healthy food. Single moms especially hard hit due to lack of good paying jobs for women and affordable daycare. Ironically, these are areas where food production drives the local economy. Today's veterans suffer higher rates of hunger. All volunteer armed services draw from lower socioeconomic groups. Upon discharge, these vets suffer higher rates of PTSD and substance abuse than vets from earlier eras. Many do not have a college education or family to fall back upon. Many are homeless and hungry. People facing hunger are forced to make tough choices between food or housing, utilities, health care, and transportation. Skimping on education and retirement savings have far-reaching impacts. Strapped for cash, would you make a car payment so you could get to work and keep your job, or would you buy healthy food for your family? While 37 million Americans feel the physical effects of hunger each day, every individual in the nation bears the cost. On average, each person residing in the U.S. pays $300 annually or $22,000 over a lifetime toward the hunger bill. Most of this cost results from illnesses associated with hunger, obesity, diabetes, and heart disease. To end hunger, we must end poverty with policies that increase economic security, expand opportunities, and rebuild our middle class. In other words, create jobs, raise minimum pay, and provide paid leave and quality daycare. Poverty does not have to be inevitable. In the meantime, people must eat. One option is to divert food from home and restaurant waste. More than one-third of the food produced in America becomes food waste. Annually, 50 million tons of food ends up in landfills. The amount of food thrown away in the United States in one year would be enough to feed 190 million adults every day for one year. American consumers are the largest food wasters, tossing about a pound of household food per person each day, costing the average family of four $1,500 per year. Those with healthy diets rich in fruit and vegetables are the most wasteful. 
Americans realize there's a food waste problem, but few acknowledge they are part of the problem. We expect perky produce and beautiful displays. Grocery stores comply by pitching ugly but edible produce, which accounts for 10% of our country's food waste. Half of all store produce is discarded before it can be sold and while it's still edible. But it's not just fruits and vegetables. The entire carton of eggs is pitched if one is cracked or broken. Feeding America food banks play an important role, moving nourishing food safely from farmers, retailers, and manufacturers to people in need. Mobilizing 2 million volunteers, the 200 Feeding America food banks make up the nation's largest food rescue and domestic hunger relief organization. Food Bank of Iowa, a donor-funded Feeding America member, works with 625 partner agencies, churches, schools, homeless shelters, halfway houses, daycares, and community feeding sites to serve 175,000 food insecure Iowans in 55 counties across 30,000 square miles. With one in nine Americans suffering from food insecurity, it's likely you know someone who needs your help. Be part of the solution. Donate. Volunteer your time and talent at a food bank or food pantry. Talk to your legislator and advocate on behalf of hunger and poverty issues. Tell the food insecurity story on behalf of someone who can't. Should we show compassion for those in difficult circumstances through no fault of their own? Do we have a moral imperative to fight for those struggling to make ends meet? As a society, I believe we have huge capacity to enact real change. Working together, I believe we can end hunger. Will you help?